guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please make sure to hit the little red button i would really really appreciate it so i saw another youtuber do this video her name is tara michelle and she basically just did a recap of the month and so i thought that would be fun to do for april so i'm going to be sharing with you guys what were some of my favorite products that i used this month i'm also going to be going over the books that i have read this year what is currently on my tbr list and then reviewing my goals for the year to see what i have accomplished and what i still have yet to work on but today is sunday so i just got home from church and i stopped by at target to pick up an order that i placed it's literally just two things but i thought i would just share it with you guys so i am almost running out of my facial moisturizer so i had to stop by and get some and this is just a classic that we have in our house my family has been using this brand for years and my grandma always recommends this brand so i thought i would buy myself one because i was looking into like la roche posay but that was like $25 and this was only $8.99 and it had great reviews and I also know that it's trustworthy because my family uses it. So I got this and then I passed by the office supply aisle and I am almost done with my journal. So I thought I would just take a quick little peek at the journals and I found this one that I thought was super cute. And it says, Todo lo bueno empieza hoy and it's this like soft cover. The one that I currently have is a spiral bound, which I prefer, but I just couldn't pass up on this cute cover, so I got it. And I'm really excited to start writing here once I'm done with the other one. And I want to get into books and what I have been reading. For those of you who know me or follow me on Instagram, then you have seen that I have really gotten into reading a lot more recently. So the books that I have read this year so far, I made it a goal to read one book per month, which I actually have been accomplishing. I know that might seem like very little, only reading 12 books a year. I have seen some people talk about reading like three or four books a month. I definitely don't read that much. I admit that I'm a slow reader, but I feel like I'm getting better at it. So the first one that I read in January was The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. And I thought this was a really cute book. It was an easy read and honestly all the books that I have read are romance books so if you guys don't like that you may not enjoy it but I thought this was really cute. It takes place in a vineyard and it's revolving around a wedding. I don't want to say a lot because I don't want to spoil it but I think I rated this like a 4.7 out of 5. Then in February I read Better Than the Movies which was very suitable for Valentine's Day landing in February. This one was really really good. It's definitely up there. I rated it a 5.5 and I really enjoyed the books by Lynn Painter. And then in March I read Love Theoretically and one of my best friends gave me this for Christmas. She actually annotated it. I haven't gotten that far into like annotating books but this author Ali Hazelwood has a lot of books so I might look into getting others by her. I liked it but I probably would rate it like a 3.9 out of 5. There was a lot of like technical terms like basically about two physicians that end up meeting. That's all I will say. Um, but I just think the build up took a little too long. I feel like it took me a while to get into it. And then the last one that I just finished was The Bodyguard by Kathleen Center. I got this recommendation from another YouTuber, Jess Conti. And I really liked it. This is a closed door romance book, which are the type of books that I prefer. And so this one was just super cute and definitely a 5 out of 5. Now I'm currently reading another one by Lynn Painter, who is the author of Better Than the Movies. And it's called The Do-Over. So I got this one from the Target Circle Week sale. You could buy two books, get one free. And this was one of them and I am only a few pages in. I'm on page 18 so I can't say much about it but so far I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. And then the following are the books that are in my TBR list. So I really want to read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover before the movie comes out. I believe it's coming out in August now. So I need to get to it before the movie comes out. And then I've heard of a lot of good things about Sarah Adams. So I got this one, The Cheat Sheet and I'm excited to read it and then I got two books by Abby Jimenez the first one is Yours Truly I've heard really good stuff about the fictional men that she 
creates or writes about so I'm excited to read this one but I think the one I'm most excited to read which I'm waiting for the summer to kind of get into the vibes and read this book then is just for the summer a lot of people were raving about this on TikTok and so I had to get it and I'm saving it for the summer. So I came to my bathroom because I'm gonna brush my teeth and so I thought I would share with you guys what were some of my favorite products this past month, what I have been using almost daily and what I really would recommend. So starting off with skincare, I had been hearing that you should not be washing your face every single morning and instead you should use rose water. So I ordered this organic rose floral water from Amazon and it comes with the spray nozzle but it also has like a dropper which I really like and I don't know if it's too soon to tell but I feel like my skin has actually gotten better since I have been using this and it also smells really good and then I also got a new eye cream so one of my biggest insecurities are honestly my dark circles under my eyes so I have been looking for something to help with that because I have bought in a lot of stuff, nothing has really helped. But I got this one, the Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Eye Cream by Rock Skincare. And I would say it's pretty pricey, which is why I didn't get it sooner. But they had a sale at Costco where you can get three in a pack, which was a lot cheaper. So I have been using this and I have really liked it so far. And then one of my best friends gifted me these lip masks. These are the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and these are the smaller version they have a bigger version but it came in a pack of six and not only do i really like the scent but my lips do feel a lot smoother my favorite scent probably has to be the gummy bear which is the purple but they also have mint choco which is like mint chocolate chip and then berry and i believe the other one is mango and then sweet candy and there is another one which I cannot remember at the moment and now getting into like the hygiene I have one new product that I try this month which is the Mega Babe the smoothie deal which is a fruit enzyme daily deodorant so I have really been trying to get into using cleaner products eating healthier food this deodorant does not have aluminum so I got this one I was previously using one by the salt and stone but it's a little more pricey and so when that one finished, I got this one. It smells really good. It smells like bilberry, lemon, and orange. And it has worked pretty well for me, so I'm going to keep using it. Now getting into makeup. I didn't buy these products this month, but I have really been loving them. I've been using them a lot more. And starting off, we have the NYX The Brow Glue. This is so good. Nothing has ever worked on my eyebrows as well as this one. This really helps keep them in place. Then I have the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. For some reason, my eyelashes just don't curl. They always go like straight out. But this mascara definitely helps with like lifting them up, as the name says. Then going along with the mascara, I got a new eyelash curler from Amazon. Not only is it like super cute, it has little hearts but it also helps with curling. And then I've also gotten into using this NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have it in the shade Custer, and I am wearing it today, and I think it has great coverage. Now, the last thing that I got this month that I fell in love with is this jewelry case. This is by the brand Pura Vida. If you guys watched my last vlog, you saw me organizing my jewelry in here, and I really, really like it. It has so much storage. And I really like the design of it. I think it's super pretty. So yeah, those are some of my April favorites. So I brushed my teeth and I finished getting ready. And I'm actually going to head out to go get some food with my dad and my brother. So I'm going to bring you guys along for that. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to end this video reviewing my goals for this year and the progress I've made on them since the start of the year. So I like to journal. For those of you who don't know me, I love to journal. And so I listed down all of my goals for this year in my journal at the beginning of the year. And I'm going to share a couple with you guys. And I also took some notes on my phone that I wanted to go over. But some of the goals that I have listed is to exercise three times a week which I have been doing except for this week, so I'm not proud of that. But I try to switch around my exercises. I felt like in the past I would do a lot of cardio, but now I will do 
two days out of the three are cardio and then one day is a full body workout with weights and i actually bought a yoga mat back in 2020 so i can do some at home or so i can do some at home exercises and then recently i bought a kettlebell which if you guys don't know it's like a weight in the form of a ball another goal that i wrote down is to read at least a new book every month so as you guys saw earlier i have been keeping up with that but i really want to start reading a little bit more so i'm really hoping to read 15 books by the end of the year as opposed to 12. and going along with that i also want to read at least one book in the bible every month i feel like i started off strong but then i didn't keep up with it which is something i'm not proud of so i'm going to continue talking about my goals but i also just got out of the shower and i need to do my after shower hair routine so i want to show you guys some of the products i use on my hair and then i'll get back into the goals so i got this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil which i'm sure so many of you have seen already because so many people were talking about it on tiktok at least on my for you page and i haven't been using it as consistently i probably use it once every two weeks which isn't much but i do feel like it has helped my hair grow and i have this smoothing anti-frizz cream by the brand osis plus so the first thing that i do when i get out of the shower is that i comb my hair with this wet brush and then i apply this anti-frizz cream a little goes a long way and this stays on and you can just put it all over your hair and this one honestly smells really really good and then i go in with this coco and eve super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask so this one you leave on for 30 minutes and you can put it all over your hair but i noticed that it also makes my scalp oily so i just apply it to the tips of my hair then i leave it on for 30 minutes then you rinse out and after i rinse out the hair mask i go in with this silk protein from the brand Salerm cosmetics which is a leave-in conditioner and you leave this on for five minutes and then you rinse out as well some other goals that i have listed on here that i have not gotten to yet is to try a new hobby so i really want to try going to some type of like exercise class like I mentioned, start running, possibly take a boxing class or try Pilates. Then I would really love to have the opportunity to work with more brands. I do have something exciting coming up soon that you guys will see if you follow me on Instagram. And then I'm also super grateful to be a brand ambassador of two of my favorite brands. They are jewelry brands and if you guys know me, I love my jewelry. I don't feel like myself without my rings, bracelets necklaces and all that and then the last goal that i have written here is that i want to travel to somewhere new and i have quite a lot of places in mind but no plans in the works yet but yeah those are basically some of the goals that i have for this year and i am proud of the progress that i've made but i know that there are still some things i need to work on but that's all that i have for this video i know it was a little more chatty i hope you guys enjoyed it though if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye